I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres and I'm outside one of Microsoft's data center campuses in Goodyear. The data servers inside that support computing resources such as AI use a lot of heat, therefore need water to cool down those servers. It's that water use, however, that is raising eyebrows, especially in a place not known for its water supply, the Arizona desert. If you've ever used the AI program ChatGBT or similar programs, you're inadvertently using up a scarce resource in Arizona and the Southwest. Fresh water. 10 to 50 queries or prompts on ChatGPT is roughly the same as a 16 ounce bottle of water lost in the form of steam emissions. I mean, those data center operators in Arizona used to use a lot of water and they are still using a lot of water. But that's according to a study done by UC Riverside professor Shaolei Ren and other colleagues estimating the water footprint from running artificial intelligence prompts that rely on cloud-based computations done on servers inside large data centers. Future water consumption in these data centers may rival that of small countries. In the future, next few years, the water consumption of AI computing will be could be uh, reaching to like four to six billion cubic meters uh, for interval water withdrawal. That's nearly five million acre feet of water, almost twice Arizona's current Colorado River water allotment. And the Colorado accounts for a large share of most Valley City's water supplies. Microsoft is aware of its shortcomings when it comes to water use, citing in its environmental sustainability report that the company's total water consumption went up by nearly 23% in 2023 compared to the previous year. Neither Microsoft nor the city of Goodyear would go on camera for an interview or answer how much water is used annually in the West Valley data centers, but a Microsoft spokesperson tells ABC 15 Arizona data centers use outside air instead of water when temperatures drop below 85 degrees. Fairly common from late fall through spring, not so much in the summer. When it gets to 85 or above, the data centers use an evaporative system called adiabatic cooling, using less electricity and less water, according to Microsoft. The outcome that we want is to find the leak, repair it, and save the water. Microsoft also partnered with the UK-based tech company Phytotech that also uses AI to detect water leaks in aging pipes in England, Mexico, and in the West Valley. I think some of the figures that we're seeing, we've already done over half a million cubic meters of water saved which is a great start. Microsoft tells ABC 15 that they're moving to a zero water model year round in all future Arizona data centers. It's a closed loop system that wouldn't require outside water once a data center is operational and no water used in this closed system would evaporate, according to Microsoft. These data centers aren't going anywhere and neither is the quench for AI use, bringing other sets of water problems, but possibly water solutions as well. And if you can harness AI technology in whatever field to do that, alongside humans, then we stand, I believe we stand a chance of solving such things as the global, a long way to solving the global water crisis. Reporting from Goodyear, I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres with ABC 15 Arizona.